Black Magic has done it again. Their new camera is absolutely amazing. Dan May is here. He's going to tell me about this. He's going to walk us through this, and I know that everybody's going to want this, especially since the price was amazing as well. Hi, Sue Lawson here at NAB 2014. Dan, thank you, yeah. and tell me. This is our this is our Black Magic Ursa camera, and of course, it, it's kind of that aspirational product that just kind of sucks all the air out of the room. So it's tough because this is such an amazing product, and just visually, of course, it's an amazing product. But what we were really thinking about when we were talking about where we wanted to go with our cameras, we you know we've been selling our Black Magic Cinema cameras as these kind of small DSLR-like packages that gave these these great post-production uh, workflows and quality. And what we were kind of amazed by was how many people were stacking on tens of thousands of dollars worth of gear onto these cameras. So we thought, well, we do have an opportunity here to create kind of this full-size production camera. And that's that's really with the seed that bore uh, the Black Magic Ursa. So what we see here is a kind of a almost a more traditional sized camera in the sense that it's got the kind of traditional rectangle, but we really wanted to add this new and modern design. So what what everyone kind of sees first off the bat is wow, this is amazing 10-inch 1920 by 1080 monitor here. Uh, this viewfinder that can be <laughs> that is that is truly amazing to me. I mean, that is one thing that nobody has to go ahead and then. It's just more equipment that you have to carry. This is all together. And so it's all built in, and, and, and part of the purpose for this, you know, we're always thinking about what the purpose of these devices we're building are. You know, the, the thing we wanted to think about is how do I make this something that can be a single user camera, or it's a, we, if we had multiple people that had multiple functions. So, you know, right off the bat, you see we have this big screen, we have this great touch screen over here where I could be adjusting my metadata, I can be adjusting all of the information within the camera. So if I'm a single guy on a tripod, I can use this here. On the other side, I have a, a, an extra SDI out of if I wanted to do an EVF and perhaps do a shoulder mount. But what happens if I want to have multiple users? We've added this extra monitor on the side. So it's a three monitor camera where I can go ahead and add, maybe I have an assistant over here who's pulling focus and they're using this to pull focus or they have the actual slate so they can be adding metadata or perhaps I have an audio guy who's just adjusting the audio with the headphones and looking at the view. So if I have these zones around the camera for specific jobs, and this is really makes it that kind of full-size production camera. I can be a single user, or I can bring another person or two and kind of have specific jobs around the camera. Really high-tech design, you're going to see that we're using new CFast 2.0. This is a new solid uh, media that's going to be really great for video. It's a small form factor, it's less heat, and then because it's small, we can do two of these, which means one is recording, and then when it fills up, we move to the second one. So we can kind of do this hot swappable recording. Of course, it is an ultra HD camera that will also record HD, but the, uh, the nice part about it is it's using the same sensor that we have on our current production 4K camera, and we have two different lens mounts we're showing, our EF and our PL-based version of the camera. But this whole sensor and lens mount package can be removed and upgraded. So we've also announced that we want to do like a B4 version of the camera that may be a different sensor. We can just do that a user upgradable camera. It's very configurable and very user friendly that way. That's exactly it. And we, we want to make it something that if we want to down the road be able to provide that kind of upgradability, we can. So it's a great... <laughs> if they want to. If, hint, hint. <laughs> if they want to. You know, we're, we're always about trying to empower customers and creating new products for them. That doesn't mean that everyone needs to buy every upgrade or every bit, but we like to create those options for people to empower them. As you mentioned, the price is $6,000 starting at that EF. It's that aspirational purchase. It really is quite attainable for a lot of people. So I mean, the independent videographer can can easily go ahead and add this. You know, we've always been about talking about, you know, almost are always our litmus test. If, if I was a 20-something year old person, is this something I would want and is it something that I could actually go and get? Because as much as I'd like to tackle all the different market segments out there, it really it really always has to kind of be the empowering as many people as possible. So if you kind of say, I'm 22 again, you know, <laughs> can I go and get this and start to do real work? And we truly believe that this is a full functioning, you know, production camera. That's awesome. Now, battery-wise... I believe that most of these batteries will, will last about an hour on here, despite the fact that we have you know, three monitors being driven. So it is a really flexible solution for people. Now, are you able to disable some of the monitors if you're not doing the zone system and you're just one person? Yeah, certainly when we close that up, it'll shut down and you may be able to get a little more juice out of the battery. The battery should still probably be a little bit longer, but not tremendously. Sue Lawson, Dan May, Blackmagic Design here at NAB 2014. Amazing announcements with cameras and much, much more, if I may be so bold.